What's going on everyone? So what we're trying to do here is fix my plow. Earlier today I smashed a ditch. Um, didn't have really no choice other than to hit the ditch or go off the side of a hill. Pretty much a cliff. Uh, so I cho chose the best option which was the ditch. Um, and the biggest problem we're running into right now is we cannot figure out where this thing is bent. Uh, there's only one spot where uh, where we can tell it's bent. It's the front of the, the A-frame of the plow. Uh, it has a little bit of the powder coat knocked off of it or the paint chipped off. And you can tell it's bent. Um, we pretty much got that bent back straight from what we could see. But the, the problem we're having is when the plow's angled all the way this like it's angled shown here is uh the plow on the passenger side sticking up about six i think it was six and a quarter inches off the ground but when the plow's straight it's it's laying flat clear across the ground when it's uh angled all the way to the driver's side it's flat clear across the ground so we're trying to to bend the assembly back um i'm heat heating the metal up right now and uh I got the floor jack on one side of the plow jacking it up and I'm putting down pressure on it with my tractor on the other side. Uh, and that, that seems to be working real good. Um, we're, we're getting headway because when I did first bring it in, I don't have any uh, footage of this, but when I had it angled all the way to the right, it was sticking up in the air. And we did this method, vice versa, what we're doing right now. And we got it bent back. And now we're trying to do it on this side and as you'll see later in the video is it's still still sticking up on that side we got it to go clear down to three inches um off the ground and then it just started going backwards from there uh, it went back up to its, the normal six inches it was off the ground so we're trying to trying to figure out where it is um sorry about the audio in this uh I don't think anyone knew that I was filming and this thing would be filled with bleeps. Uh, none of us were in a very good mood because the the day had just been crap. Uh, where I put my truck into the ditch, uh, it was about a quarter mile long driveway all the way up a hill. Uh, and we had to end up hand shoveling all the way down it. Uh, sand in the hill real good so we could get out or so we could come back down the hill because the hill was just a solid sheet of ice. Um, the the owners of the property had tracked uh, the snow in, pro the snow prior to what I was there to plow in with their side-by-side -side, creating a solid sheet of ice underneath the, the snow. So it, it was just horrible. We all busted our butt several, several times on the, the driveway. Uh, you know, we carried, I think, 30 some bags uh 70 pound bags of sand up the hill uh because we could i didn't want to risk bringing another truck up the hill it, it, it was just it, it was horrible uh yeah just was not a good judgment call on my part at all Well, I thought it was farther along. I thought it was longer ago than 78. 
I had the only farmer who had the Columbus to pay paper during the blizzard. In the Columbus paper? In the Columbus paper. Holy People had to go through Lancaster to get to Columbus then. I was paying court with the Columbus getting $120 a quarter. How the hell did you get that? Huh? How the hell did you get that? I had a timber jack. <laughs> Scott had that timber jack. I've never been able to do it. <coughs> Bringing the logs in. I had five trucks running there for a while. It pretty much shut down the firewood operation for people. There was some big ass no good. I was a truck. Never been to a blizzard. Kind of want to experience it. Ben Brock gets that call. Hey, buddy, I ain't getting into work now. Get up in the front door. <laughs> dig out. For that reason. Dig out. That's what I say, dig out. I would too, because my door opens in. <laughs> <laughs> Screen door does that. You wasn't supposed to be on the road. Only yeah, emergency vehicles, you know. Oh, eight miles, I guess he kind of emergency vehicle. Yeah. It was an emergency, somebody needed firewood. Yeah, that's what I went with. That would have been, you should have been like, now, if you were out of firewood, you needed it. <laughs> and I had a two wheel drive truck. Well, now, I figured with a bunch of firewood in the bed, probably did all right. Yeah. And truck never did real good, though. It was a, 59.4. Didn't like the snow. Boy, that's terrible. I remember there must have been six inches of ice on top of this log split. Had to bust <laughs> off and use that thing. How much snow was it? I, I go out to split firewood. There's six inches of ice on the log split, or I'm turning around walking back in the house. You know, there probably wasn't any more snow than we got the other day, but it just blew like It got cold and it blew and it just drifted like crazy. Big drift. See, I'm talking about that one blizzard they have pictures of the fucking snow up over top of people's cars. But that was like 50s maybe? 30s? 40s? This, the night before the blizzard, it was lightning and thunder and more I mean, it come all the time. It was in April, wasn't it? Oh, I don't or know. March? I don't remember. Well, I, mean, I don't really remember what month it was, but I remember I was dating some guy in Columbus. And I decided to head home because, boy, it just started snowing like that old piece of truck that didn't go very good. So I get outside and it starts snowing. I'm going to be kind of scratching my noggin like, what's going on here? <laughs> Man, it got super, super cold. And I got home and I lived in a. The upstairs apartment was a, a duplex in the house. And I never turned heat on. I got poor heat, you know. So I come in. It's a freaking cold that apartment, you know. And uh, so I just put my coveralls on and jumped in bed and went to sleep. I remember I woke up and I rolled over the, the pillow. And <laughs> <laughs> All the water lines were frozen up. And what the lay over. But usually it wouldn't happen because, you know, the downstairs, they run heat. Right. And it come up through, you know. Right, keep your water keep, keep freezing. Keep you're freezing, you know. feel like when you roll over and your pillow, pillows crack one because it's froze. Why are you trying to turn the heat on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a good old bad. <laughs> Is that why you were at her house and she wasn't at yours because you were embarrassed? Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, well, I should stay up there. She had heat in her apartment. <laughs> well, apparently you had it. You would say, what do you use it? No, oh, no, no. Yeah, at that point, I'm to fire the living room floor. <laughs> It'll be cold. <laughs> I'd deal with it to a point, pillow crack was way too far. Yeah, well, that probably should <laughs> That's like almost to the point where your eyeballs about to freeze. Plan X or Plan X? 
that. Like that's been through the album that once, almost through again. before you hit the bank. Because I think you were going to use it if you had to, but then I don't, it must have not crossed your mind when you started sliding. I don't know. Well, I, I, and just a whole bunch of things just running through my head. Do I drop the plow and uh, <laughs> hope that works? Or do I slam it in reverse and hope that works? No! And I was thinking <laughs> of me, I'm like going to the ditch. <laughs> That's all I remember. I remember saying that to Haley, hey, all else fails, go to the ditch. I remember my dad told me that. All else fails, go to that ditch. The, the ditch will usually stop you. Maybe kind of rough, maybe not real like, but it'll usually stop you. Might not be able to get back out of it, but. You gotta pick a decent one, though. Yeah, some of them's like, some of them's not a ditch. But some of them are really dead tree. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. That don't feel very good. Well, I'm already here, but I mean. Yeah, I think the tree probably wouldn't felt that bad. 55, 60s, it's probably gonna hurt. Yeah, it does. It does. Tree doesn't really get Cars don't hit at 60 either. Ah. <laughs> There's a little more crumble there, there than a tree. All right, what's going on, everyone? Well, I am en route to Lancaster. Uh, it's a town right above where I live. It's about a 30, 45 minute drive. accessory company, it's a stinky truck, pick up my A-frame for my plow, as you've seen in some of the clips prior, uh, you know, we, we tried, tried about all we could bending stuff, bending that, that bracket back, and man, we just, we, we couldn't get it, I, I, you know, when we originally got it, when I originally brought it in, um, you know, we set it down, uh, and I'd set it down, the blade was straight, the plow was cocked up on the passenger side, a good six, seven inches, but when I'd turn it to the driver's side, it'd stay up. So we did some bending around, and we got it to where when the plow straight, it lay flat on the ground, and when it was cocked all the way to one way, or to the driver's side, it would lay flat on the ground, and then when we would turn the, the blade all the way to the passenger side, it was about, well, oh, six or seven inches of, well, off the ground. And we bent, and we bent, um, as you've seen. We just, we couldn't really figure out a good way to try to bend this bracket. So it would, uh, so it would lay flat. We actually, I, I, I believe, originally it started out about a, the blade set about six and a quarter, uh, maybe six and three eighths off the ground, and then uh, we got it clear down to like three and a quarter inches off the ground, and it was just like we went totally backwards. And it just started raising back up. I don't know if it was just going back to the original shape. So uh, you know, we took the blade off. Uh, we just, well, I'm almost 100% confident that the the E-frame of the plow's bent. It looks, it looks tweak when you look at it, when it's on the truck or off the truck. So I went ahead and ordered one. I got it expedited. That last Friday, so they expedited it over the weekend because we have a big snowstorm. Uh, the first part has already already been here, um, and I 
just got done cleaning up this morning for man. So I figured that I ought to run up here and uh, grab that because our, our second storm's due here uh, this afternoon. And you know, we're, we're supposed to be looking at, I think, another eight inches of snow. I want to get, get this fixed. And hopefully if I have some time, uh, truck so I have Bluetooth I, uh, a fairly new truck and I don't have Bluetooth in it and so I have one of those uh, transmitters and mainly I, I've spent almost more money on these freaking transmitters than I have what it cost me to just buy a, a new I guess you call it a radio because you don't even have a CD player in it um, for, for Bluetooth for this thing Yeah, so uh, I guess I'll uh, catch you guys back when we're at the shop and uh, get this uh, plow tore apart and hopefully get it fixed. Hopefully don't run into anything else. I got, I do got a latch that I, uh, when I have off, I think, I believe I got to take it off when I take this uh, A-frame, get, to get this A-frame off. I'd like to try to heat up and bend around because I, I bent it, uh, moving my plow last year or the year before with my tractor I always go underneath my plow and pick it up, pick it up with my forks and I think I caught it wrong or fell and ever since the it's been kind of hard to, to lock it in to get the locking pin in so I'm gonna try to fix that while I have it all apart. Alright well I'll catch you guys back when uh, I'm back at the shop. Alright well I don't know how much footage I got of this I believe I had it recording, but for some reason it said the file was bad or something. I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. It won't let me view it on my my GoPro, so I don't know if I got anything. But So we got the, the plow off, the back portion. I got the two A-frames sitting there. And if you, if you look, you can't really tell on camera, but this ear here is bent. Can't stand here. And this piece of square tubing's bent, and this, this ear, the ears back here on both sides are bent. And if you stand from back here, I don't know if you really can tell, but that's that's what's bent. So we need to get the the stop for the when it's uh, off the truck taken off and the chain taken off and put over here and we can get her going back together. So we need to try to get this so when it's locked, this pin will slide down through there. Why? Keep popping loose? 
Well, this this arm here is it's totally bent. Let's try to get a pipe and pipe or big pipe wrench. Pipe wrench might work too. Well, if you leave it like this, you might as well just go like that. All right. Let's see what that does. Well, I'll try to get. Uh, maybe. I go. Ooh. <laughs> huh? I made it worse. Bring oh. it. Need to go back down. Yeah. All that end here. Fold it, fold it out. Oh well, I was gonna bend it down, but doesn't it look like it's bent up? Yeah. Well, if down would be better. Or wait, no. When it's closed like this, that's the problem. So see, you gotta wiggle it around, and force it down. So yeah, try try going back like you did. I was looking at it backwards. What'd you do, bend this tab? No, I think it's this tab right here that's bent. Oh, well, I don't know if I can bend that tab. Uh, where's the pry bar? I'll put it up. Well, I didn't put it up, but. Of course. Here. Adjusto. No, that seems to be all right. That, that oh. don't seem bad. We gotta pop the hydraulic lines off so we can push this thing in to align it. I need another 19. I need to hold the line still a while. <laughs> so we gotta. We gotta take these off so we can uh, push these cylinders in so we can get it aligned <laughs> oh, yeah. to go. Hook the A frame up to it. Because where it was tweaked, we couldn't get the one cylinder on how this plow works. It's one pushes and one pulls, so we can't get it aligned. Alright, so we disconnected our high hydraulic lines, our cylinders. Got this pushed in, we got the bolts in there. We still need to put the nuts on it. I'm gonna go ahead and add fluid to it. And then we'll see if she's fixed. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Drop it all the way down. She 
sits flat. Go to the passenger side with it. Oh, she still sits up high. Not nowhere near as bad. Go to the other side. Huh. Sets up a little bit there. Go to the other side. Bring it back just a little bit. A little bit. It's like... Under an inch. Raise it up. Keep going. Down. Yeah, I don't know if that's not where it was. It, it, it might be just where I welded those extenders on, honestly. Go ahead and take it to the other side. Now that. had that gap there before. Hmm. Mm. That's, that's good. Oh. What, what did that's got anything to do with it? The cart? Oh, we didn't put the nuts back on either of the bolts. Oh, okay, yeah, let's raise it up. Probably should put the nuts back on the... Center bolt. All right, a little bit of spoil alert. This didn't fix it either. So my plan now is, is I'm gonna just wait until I'm not under a time crunch. Me, Zach, and Tyler, we've just been absolutely burning the midnight oil here lately. Um, we just we're trying to get stay up with the stuff we do day to day, plus plowing. Um, it's just it's been crazy. So. I actually found a trick. If I drop it all the way down, pull it all the way to whatever side I want to, and I bump it four times, it will go. It'll go back flat all the way across. So that's that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I I believe that this uh, bar here is bent, and I, I need to take it all apart and see if I can see it bent with it not assembled or anything. I'm not real optimistic on it though. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed listening to us. Uh, a little bit of shop talk there with with my dad and talk, hearing him talk about the blizzard. Uh, it was back in 78. Uh, I, I owe so much to my dad. He has taught me absolutely everything I know. He, uh, he's got so much knowledge in just all, all aspects from carpentry to mechanics to just just everything he yeah everybody goes to google and i'll pick up my phone and i'll call my dad before i'll google it because uh, he's either done it or is going to tell me what i need to do and it's just a wealth of knowledge but i hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned and i'll have another i'll be putting a video out me disassembling this again and seeing if i can get it fixed or figure out what what's bent on it um that's still causing this i i don't know it might be might be need shims or something i don't know leave a comment down below if you've had this problem i know plows are usually pretty wiggly and stuff but it seems like it's got a little more wobble to it than the normal so I, I can't i haven't done a whole lot of research on it but I, I can't seem to find anything about people shimming plows a lot on excavators and stuff but um, this is pretty much going to wrap this video up. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Have, have a good one. Oh, let's see what it does. Yeah. Still raises it over there. Still raises it there.